guys you see um aloe or aloe um all over my garden in every bed there's an aloe plant and there's in there's aloe in in pots and there's aloe everywhere and there's a there's a story of on it um back in i think it was 2018 my husband was taking some therapies for for a health issue that um he had at that time and people were so good they were you know always supporting each other and they were um giving up different things they will give up you know give some um fresh bread sour sourdough bread and some other things and they were also giving this beautiful aloe plants you see this is the pepper bed there's that one and there's another one that is growing from that one i know that they're gonna die with the, the frost i'm gonna try to save as many as I can then you can walk anywhere in my garden and there is aloe we call it aloe vera we call it sabila it's so beautiful plant and it has so many medicinal properties I'm gonna harvest some and I'm gonna save some for next year. You see they have little babies growing from her. Super nice. I think that maybe I can overwinter it inside of the house. They overwinter in the little greenhouse, but it's not heat or anything, so it suffered a lot last year. Let me know how do you overwinter your um, aloe plants. I would like to know. And I would love to be able to share all those little plants that are growing from it. I think it's like life that is growing from, from an opportunity that my husband was given. Talk to you next time. Bye.